A raid in the province of Buenos Aires. This police unit is going after people who allegedly trade in illegal drugs. They found money, cocaine, paste and weapons. Over 40 people were detained. This is a waiting room, a place where drugs are sold. You can see this plastic tube where they hand in drugs and get the money. The war on drugs in countries like Mexico and Colombia have forced cartels to find different routes. And in the last decade, Argentina has become one of them. But now anti-drug operations here are on the rise. Argentina's new government is stepping up its efforts. We have seen an increase in police operations in the slums. We are fighting on the ground. There is a political will of zero tolerance. The government wants us to go after everyone involved. We are catching drugs every day. With a new president in power, Argentina is now closer to Washington. A significant change from the previous administration, which challenged United States policies in the region. Last month, the security minister traveled to the U.S. to ask for assistance. Argentina is acknowledging we have a problem and that we need to fight it with whatever help we have. In the last years, cocaine-producing kitchens have proliferated in the province of Buenos Aires, especially in slums like this one where poverty provides the perfect hideout for criminal groups. The real challenge for the current administration is to increase its fight against drug trafficking organizations without provoking the violence that the so-called war on drugs has generated in the region. And that's why Father Toto says he's hoping for change. He belongs to a group of priests that works in poor neighborhoods. He believes that the fight against drugs need to be accompanied with more. What needs to change is the presence of the state and of society in general, that there's not only a fight against drugs but a fight against poverty. I see children consuming drugs every day. The situation's improved in recent years, but we need schools, health centers and more. With only nine months in office, the government faces many challenges. But it says fighting drugs is a priority that cannot be postponed. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.